All right, man. We we gonna we we gonna get back at it, Tony. Well, we we had a how, how can I how can I word this? Uh, the last few days was was kind of productive, man, for the both of us. So let me just start off with me before we touch on you. So we had the the, the blockbuster conversation of the dispatcher taking money from drivers because they don't mess with them all like that. He gets in his feelings and he start doing ill stuff to drivers because he can do that. We played the audio and we jumped into our conversation. Video was doing good. It was gaining traction, 100% likability, over 50 comments. But I, I woke up a couple of days ago and well, it started at night. I get an email from YouTube saying somebody is complaining about the video. They said they had to take a look at it to see if it follows YouTube guidelines and yada, yada, yada. And it did give me an opportunity to go in there and see what was wrong or whatever. So I emailed them back, letting them know that we had consent to use your video. The next morning I wake up and I get another email saying that YouTube snatched it because of, of the guidelines. And if I want to appeal it, I was like, hell yeah. So I gave them the information. I gave them the, the release slip and all like that. Even let them know that that was a two-party call per, per the laws, right? So I gave all that to them. I'd say maybe about midday, I get another email saying, yeah, unfortunately, in a nutshell, we, we won't be able to put your video back up. Now, the channel didn't get striked. No, no consequences to the channel. It was just that the video, they didn't give us our video back. Luckily for me, I do have the video on multiple channels. It's over there. But here's the funny part, though. I altered the video. I took the sound out because basically that's what they was complaining about. I took the sound out, re-uploaded the video with just the captions. And tell me why, bro. Yesterday, I get another email from YouTube saying the exact same thing on the captions. <laughs> I said, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I, what, what you talking about? What 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 y'all talking about? I said, hey, there's no audio, so there's no privacy here. Like you can't hear anything. I even said in the in the video that it was muted, but it was captions. It was muted. So they sent me back. They told me to go back, look at it, yada yada yada. I was like, YouTube is my shit. So I, I'm I'm following my YouTube guidelines. So I went back and cut out. The, the the caption video and YouTube came back. It was like, yeah, your video good to go. You don't have nothing to worry about, bro. And I'm like, I'm like, wow. So we got together. You you called me that morning and I said that, bro, I, I, I think we touched the nerve, man. I, I, I think we, we, we touched the nerve because it's to the point that if we got somebody that's actually complaining about uh, our conversation or or the video per se then it must be some truth behind it so that's what happened on my end of the spectrum you had a more productive <laughs> situations that went on with you but now that we're back it's friday you got your head right you you got got everything processed what happened since the since the posting of our video no more wasting time let's get it hold on so to add on to what you said, yeah, they are really, really dedicated right now. They call me multiple times, call me from Serbia, or however you say that name, Russia, call me from there. I mean, one of them was the uh, owner of uh, the guy that's worth $1.4 billion, $1 million, something like that. He, he threatened me, he threatened to put it. They decided to put a hit out on me. Then I get calls from this side of the earth. Is that Chicago? And they sent me calling me the virtual first. You won't keep the end word with the ER. Like, just throw all types of disrespectful shots at me. And I'm just laughing. The more I laugh, the better they got. They, they, uh, they just kept throwing them at me. You ain't going to get your, you ain't gonna get your stuff back. Don't so expect it. Go so get back to this company. Your life is a piece of S word. All we tried to do was help you out with your life, and now you made us bad. Yada yada yada. More more 
BS. And I'm like, dude, y'all never, my life was always good. Like, my life was always perfect. So I don't know what thinking about my ego is, thinking y'all making people better because I'm not. But whatever. Because I think she's a, a, a assistant CEO or something like that. She be talking all this trash. And then come last night, everything reversed. Say, you want to come back to the company, we're going to give you... Ten thousand dollars to the truck, yada yada, blah blah blah. Well, they ain't giving a truck, but they talk about giving me a newer truck to work on. And I'm like, no, nah, I don't want to connect to y'all company. You hey, y'all keep offering me this. First y'all offer me five. I got three y'all for me. I shall. If I come back to y'all company, I'm going to some dignity and truth behind everything I'm putting out there against y'all. So no, I'm not going to. I'm spending ten souls. I'm spending on business when it comes to y'all because y'all not going to keep doing drivers in these type of ways. After all of that. They coming after you with death threats. They coming after you with racial slurs with the hard ER. Uh, they over here saying that you made their lives turmoil and stuff like that. Only thing that you did, you did what anybody else would do in that situation. You you pretty much exposed the company for what they are. And there's been exposure of people throughout the years, man. Like that chick got exposed for going down on the president. What's what's that boy name? Mel Gibson got exposed for what he did. So basically what you right. did, you was just fortunate enough to look up to get with a, a, a overzealous, over talk dispatcher because of how he felt. He he said in the video that look, drivers calling me an asshole, drivers don't like me. So what I do to them, what do I care? What I do to them, I, I take their money and I, I, I would give it to you or give it to the company. He said that, right? Yeah. So there's there's truth to what's going on in the company because as as when we speak on it, I I even said that it gotta be that that's gotta be a thing. You're not the only one that that offer was offered to, right? So again, Tony, why why do you think he was so comfortable into talking the way he was talking to you? Why do you think he was so comfortable in doing that? Some people, all you gotta do is play your cards right. That's it. Besides that, it's just his ego. The way people treat him, like, I'm done with the company doing to. They, they hold out him on their phones without still paying up and they get caught on their phones while they have it. Like, I think it's not something that just happened. Or he just, I, I think it, he got like this over time of what the company was doing to them but as dispatchers. And I guess, like, I'm a cool guy. I'm not one that, that's hard to talk to, whatever. You want to talk, you want me to talk. But I think it was just me being with the right dispatcher at the right time. And me always showing everybody respect without even somebody to give it to me. Always show you respect it so you show me disrespect. And I think that's where it came in. What really shocked me the most, it wasn't about the part where he was telling you about the money part and all like that, but what shocked me the most is how he nonchalantly uh, told the story about the driver that passed, crashed into the bridge. He was like, we was making money together. We was doing this. He had multiple LLCs and this, that, and the third. It's just unfortunate that he ran into a bridge and pretty much ended it all to that. Like, bro. It wasn't no type of sympathy in his in, in his speak, man. Like, he wasn't remorseful. It wasn't like, damn, the company ran this guy so hard that he wasn't able to get no sleep. And, and he was too fatigued. And it was just unfortunate the outcome was him running into a bridge and losing his life. He made it like, okay, well, I got to get somebody else to, 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 to fill the void. Yeah. Right. That that so got, that would tee me off right there. But go ahead. So yes, it, 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 so yeah, he, he didn't care. He didn't care. You got to remember, it was all about money and up. That's it. The word numbers they got they made. Unfortunately, if we go so money hungry that they don't pay our employees enough. Drivers, everybody, not a whole lot. Dispatchers, everybody. So yeah, he really he really doing the face with that driver. Man. They've been doing that for two years. He's been doing this for four to five years. He said. Dispatcher himself said he's been doing this for four four to five years. So he had that driver for two of those four or five years. All right, so let's catch back up to the now death from Siberia. Like you sent me the screenshots, and it's it's like multiple phone calls from from Siberia. So was it that dispatcher that was reaching back out to you to make those threats to you, or was it somebody else in the camp? All of them, all of them. Somebody else in the camp, dispatchers, or the dispatcher that I had. But that, that video reached. I can tell you this, that video of that company, all the way up to the owner of the company. 
I can tell you that, but the reason why you got hit, if they started coming out to your YouTube channel, because you the one that yeah, you are the ones that put it out there. And that's why they get you to take it down, because if they get to me or the ego, they don't want it out there. Any proof that somebody got, they try to get it from being exposed. So that's why they, they hit your YouTube up. It was like, you know what, that out there. I know we touched the nerve. The original video that's that, that started off in the Facebook group reached a lot of other groups as well, because it, it's been shared uh, over a gazillion times. Like, it's in other like super ego facebook groups so that was the initial video when i when i got a hold of it and when me and you met and we got our first conversation in it was just a much more broader exposure because i brought it out more to the masses not not everybody is is in facebook right. it's like if you got something in facebook it pretty much sticks over there until one of the masses like myself or somebody at the top picks it up and and bring it out to get much more of of an exposure on it so so yeah right. yeah it did it it did touch a nerve but they didn't call me directly they they went through youtube and that's what i explained to the to one of my subscribers because they called me up and they was like bro what happened to the video because when i click on it it says for privacy reasons what happened to it i was like youtube took it it wasn't my doing they didn't reach out to me they didn't reach out to me usually they do like i get calls from super ego like like maybe two or three times a week if not about the company them talking about the company or they calling me up asking me to come and work for the company but yeah they did not reach out to me and ask me to take the video down youtube took it down they went through youtube so in other words their legal team went through youtube to take it down and youtube got scared of it and took it down i didn't yep. if you still want to see the original video it is still up on my podcast site so now after all of them that was on the other side of the water that was giving you threats death threats and and talking about what they're going to do to you on this side of the world out of Illinois, they actually called you up to make amends with you. In other words, they trying to buy you out and shut your mouth, pretty much, right? Well, they started off with the threats as well. And then later on in the day, yeah, they, okay, we're going to try to buy you. Yeah, that's what they shot to me. It was like, we want you to come back to the company and give you just as much about, they give you a little truck to run with, stuff like that. Let's say that you did take them up on that offer. Would you? Would you lightweight be afraid to work for the company now that they know that you was the one that put the word out on them? Like, you're not afraid if they, like, sabotage your truck or something like that? I don't know. How you feel about that? Well, uh, yeah, the feed down, that's necessary. Uh, but still try to find a little other stuff, maybe. Also, I, I would go back to them because that avoid everything I put out. That avoid the lawsuit. That avoid everything I got going against them. It, I think it had to happen. What about they pay creators? The, the the guys that they paid for to to put them in a good light. Did they did they come after you any kind of way? Uh, but they 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 make slick comments. They they they're not gonna say that to me because I mean y'all drivers. I see what like one of these days. So they don't necessarily talk to us trash. Like they just say little comments like oh. ego da da da. And I'm like you know you lie right. We all know you paid by super ego. And they'd be like, nah, I'm not paid, nah, nah, nah. Why you see it so highly of them? And then it's like over a thousand other people saying all this negative stuff about them. You already know who's paid and who's not. Everybody in the company that's being paid by the company. By day. So, yeah, they don't definitely say that's a smart team, but they try to backhand the negativity that they put out or well, Tony, man, for me personally, being a representative of the channel, that was that was a big one for us. We never had a, an explosive podcast like that. Like, I had explosive podcasts before, but our conversation, that's top-tier conversation of 2024 right now, bro. I, I want to thank you for that. And I want you to also be diligent out there. I still want you to watch yourself and all like that because now that that information is out there and drivers are listening, hopefully that'll give Super Ego a chance to clean up their ad now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but we all know they ain't going to clean it up. They're just going to switch it up. So hopefully the drivers that are on to it, they, they heed to it, and if they decide to still go to Super Ego, they, that's their choice. But just know what y'all get yourselves into before y'all make that choice. Make sure that y'all can handle yourselves before y'all make that choice. Because you're not going to make it straight up.
Play great. Again, thank you very much for coming on, man. Thank you for sharing your uh, Super Eagle story. As far as the video itself, they haven't came after you on the Facebook side of things, right? The original video is still up in the group, right? Yeah, the original video is up in Super Eagle, uh, Super Eagle The Truth. All right, guys, there you have it. If you guys want to hear the original video, uh, make sure you go and join a uh, Super Eagle Elite Drivers The Truth. Elite Drivers The Truth. Right. Yeah, Elite Drivers The Truth. Go over there and join that, and you should be able to uh, see and and listen to the uh, original video. It's a must listen to. It's, it's an interesting uh, conversation on how this dispatcher is so nonchalant and just talking to like he's talking to a buddy or something like that. Uh, and too deep like Omar. Make me want to track you down and hit the track hawk with the crowbar. I knew we wouldn't go far, like we ran out of ethanol. Now your nosy ass mama want to get involved. When I met you, you was on the couch with the plastic. She need an Emmy. Bitch so dramatic. Now your baggage got me on edge like jagged. Fucking up my homes, look Patrick. You swift to jump shift like a chief. Been crying on my line like Therese. But it ain't all you, it's me. Blame it on the things I went through.